Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today, I'm gonna be meal prepping. It's gonna be a very simple and easy meal prep. Um, I'll let you guys know what I got here. I have some green beans, mushroom, tofu, chicken, sweet potato, ground turkey, carrots, um, mixed um, greens, it's like a chopped up salad, some bell peppers, and some squash. So the first thing we're gonna do is, well, I'm gonna do, is prep everything. Like, for example, the chicken and the ground turkey, I'm gonna season it and keep it in the fridge for a little bit. And then I'm gonna clean the vegetables, cut up the vegetables, all that. And of course, the sweet potato. Okay, after washing the zucchini, I'm gonna cut it up and put it in a container until I'm ready to cook it. Also, I have chopped up about three whole zucchinis. Next, I'm gonna open up the tofu package. This tofu that I got is extra firm. I like to um, open up the package and drain the liquid that comes in the package and cut up the tofu in the package it comes in. It's just much easier and I don't have to grab any other container, less dishes to wash. So I cut it up in like little squares. Okay, so before actually cooking the tofu, I'm gonna prepare the sweet potatoes. So I am going to use around four medium-sized sweet potatoes. I'm just peeling them right now and it's a little hard sometimes to peel these sweet potatoes because they're kind of just tough. Um, but sometimes you're just going to have to use a knife just like I am now. After peeling the four sweet potatoes that I will be using to bake, I like to clean up my area so that I have a clean space to move on to the next thing, which is the ground turkey. Like I mentioned, I will be prepping and cooking the ground turkey next. So I just have my pan there, I'm just going to throw in the ground turkey straight from the package. And next up is seasoning and I'll be using garlic salt and some red cayenne pepper as well so i'm just going to put a little bit of some garlic salt a little more i guess oh there it is and some red cayenne pepper now with a fork i will be mixing mashing the ground turkey um, you just want to make sure that you know the seasoning is well spread out throughout the whole package of ground turkey or else you're gonna have some bland oops, I dropped them. you're gonna have some bland um, ground turkey and we don't want that next I will prep the green beans and after washing and rinsing the green beans, I will season it with um, black pepper and just a little bit of uh, garlic salt. Garlic salt is everything and makes everything just taste good. So I'll be adding water because I boil my vegetables, especially green beans. Very simple to boil them. Okay, so I'm gonna be finishing up the tofu and I have my pan ready and my vegetable oil spray that I really like to use because it doesn't stick. Um, so I'll be putting the tofu that I drained and cut up into squares um, on the pan and next I will be seasoning it with red cayenne pepper. To give it a nice flavor and of course I will be also adding some garlic salt
Now I will be finishing up the sweet potatoes and after peeling them I like to rinse them and I also like to cut off any excess skin that I missed the first time around. I also just cut them up into little slices as thin, not too thin but it's like a good medium size so they don't burn when I put them in the, in the oven. Um, I did want to mention that the brown bowl next to the blue one on the right contains a salad. It's a chopped up salad that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, I got it from Costco and it's just a basic Chinese salad. It's made of cabbage and it has some almonds and it has like little seeds, carrots. And I'm going to add the chicken to it and some cucumbers and it's just going to be a basic salad that I eat for lunch this week. Next I will be cutting up some carrots. I like to keep um, veggies, fresh veggies just cut up in the fridge so I'm able to snack on them uh, throughout the week. And I put them in Ziploc bags, it's just easy to grab and go. You can also use small plastic or glass containers. I also like to cut up some cucumbers. I know certain people don't like the skin, but I don't mind the skin. So I'll just be putting the cucumber in a Ziploc bag and putting it in the fridge. Oops, that one fell. I'll pick it up. Okay, so I'm done and now my Carrots and cucumbers are in baggies. I will be showing you, oops, I dropped some more food. Um, I have bell pepper and mushroom, and I will be using that in the mornings for my omelets. Next is the lentils. I just eyeball it because I know how much I use. Um, I add some pepper, some black pepper and some garlic salt. And after that, I just add some water and I'm pretty much ready to go. Just put it on the pan and cook it low heat and you're good. When I bake sweet potato, I like to put foil um, paper on the pan that I'm using so that it is easier to clean up once I'm done baking. I am going to season my sweet potato using some olive oil, some garlic salt, some red cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna mix that all up and using a brush, I'm gonna spread it over the sweet potato. But first, I'm going to spread out the sweet potato on the pan. Just make sure everything's evenly spaced out so that it is able to cook well. I usually do one side first. So I'll spread out the seasoning and olive oil on one side and then I flip over the sweet potato and do the same thing to the other side. Also, I want to mention that I preheat the oven at 420 and then for 15 minutes, I put in the sweet potato on one side and then I take it out, flip all the sweet potato over and put in the sweet potato for another 15 minutes. The time may vary. Sometimes the sweet potato isn't ready after 15 minutes. So with a fork, just poke your sweet potato and check if it's ready or not. Okay, so at this point I have my veggies cooked and my Tupperware out. Most of my Tupperware is glass. I really recommend getting glass um, containers, although they're a little more expensive than the plastic ones. It's just better when you're reheating your food because I don't know if you guys know, but the plastic has certain chemicals that it releases and go into your food and then you eat those chemicals that are not really supposed to be eaten by humans. So 
that's just a side note but right now I'm just gonna evenly divide my vegetables into each container I kind of overcooked the zucchini um, I did put the green beans in first and then added the zucchini later on but I still kind of overcooked it so just make sure you keep an eye on your zucchini when you boil your vegetables another thing I want to mention is that I'm mainly showing you guys what I'm going to have be having for lunch and dinner so the meals are interchangeable but let's just say for lunch I will be having the plates with vegetables and ground turkey and then for dinner I'll be having the lentils and the side salad that I bought pre-made and for snacks I did I do have some apples I bought and the veggies I cut up are also going to be used as snack options So at this moment, I'm not on any particular meal plan or diet. I'm just trying to eat clean. So I'm kind of just eyeballing it with the size and portions of food that I'm putting into each container. Um, I would definitely not recommend doing that if you have specific goals because I know that won't really help your goals. I've been on meal plans before and they're very specific with the amount of food you're supposed to consume every day so this is just a meal prep idea but if you if you're on a specific meal prep plan just use the portion sizes on your plan so I, I am running out of ground turkey and I'm gonna use the chicken well some of the chicken that I'm gonna use for the salad I'm gonna use some of that to put in the last two containers I have here I just want to mention that the chicken was seasoned with red cayenne pepper um, black pepper and salt and garlic so I'm putting that in the pan and just cooking it I'm also checking on my sweet potato I'm now done with my meal prep and if you've watched this far thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this